Well, good morning, the YouTube people, world everywhere. So, I got uh, something in the mail yesterday. Uh, I'd like to share it with y'all. Oh, and look what I found. A blue point magnet. I found it at a uh, railroad crossing, but the, oh, the tip doesn't stay on, so I'm going to try to solder it on, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. So that'll be kind of cool to have to my addition of magnets up there. Um, I forgot I brought it home, but anyway. Yeah, I got a mess here, but... Uh, uh, clean hands don't make you money. So dirty hands make you clean money. Um, so anyway, got home yesterday. Well, didn't get home. Went to the post office. Wife picked up a box. And it had my kid's name on it. <clears throat> so, he ended up buying me this Ulsa Tools. OL. SA tools um torque wrench does up to uh trying to get it in focus 250.7 foot pounds it's a half inch drive accuracy plus or minus one percent clockwise plus two percent counterclockwise data memory 50 data memory size 50 made in the good old Taiwan which I don't like I don't like tools made from Taiwan, but hey, if it works, it works. So comes in this little blow molded box, which you guys all know should know by now that I don't like blow molded boxes. But might have to keep it in this one. Um, certificate of inspection comes with this. Uh, Ten October eighth. 2019 so a month ago um error zero percent error standard get er error i don't know what all that means but anyway here it is it's very light um it's heavy on the head end obviously um so let me just oh, let me open I'll open the whole box set it in there so as you can see I have I have a Craftsman 3 8 drive and I have a half inch drive which I use a lot but this is a uh, I don't know what they call it but it's a spring loaded adjustable so it goes off of tension and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like a pin in here and there's a divot on the head so it'll holds tension and then clicks clicks in um but yeah so sorry i just had to check something i do have a 17 allen um so yeah it's spring loaded you tighten it tighten it tighten it tighten it and it puts the tension uh on this head right here whereas i think this one here uh it has like miniature micro scales in here somewhere and the micro scales when it pivots this head inside here it puts weight on it because there's no adjustment you don't do anything you just turn it on and it set it the lowest setting 12.5 foot pounds um and then when you I'm gonna try to do it but so when you I'm applying torque to it so when you apply torque to it it reads and reads and reads and reads and then oh I could do it with two hands I just can't do it <laughs> with one hand but anyway um I'm pretty sure it's inside here that puts the torque on it um I could be wrong it could be towards the handle uh, but I'm pretty sure it's in the head over here. It's not anything inside the gear drive mechanism or anything. It's it's from here, somewhere in here. But it's very light. It's a lot lighter than this one. This one weighs a lot. Let me show you real quick. Let me just get 
a scale and we'll try to figure out the weight somehow, some way. I got a big mess, so you have to mind the mess. So we're at zero. Let's do that was ounces, grams, ounces. Let's do ounces. So this is craftsman. Let's see, oh it's it's beyond its capacity, which is I can't remember what this capacity is, but you can see it's one pound, two pounds, and I think we're over three pounds on that one. We'll stick this one on here, and we're still over three pounds. Um, yeah, I guess I can't show you the weight. But anyway, it is a lot lighter, trust me. You can see I'm about in the middle and this tail end wants to come up. Whereas this one, I'm in the middle and it's kind of balanced. So, that's the middle, one finger, and it's pretty much balanced. So you got a lot of spring, you got the whole mechanism in here. Spring, nut, this is underneath this, you take this off and that's how you adjust it. Um, whereas this one, I'm assuming this is all just plastic batteries in here. <clears throat> it did come with two AA batteries. Um, and it came with a, a manual, owner's manual, torque wrench, whatever. And it came with the, uh, the testing sheet, the certification of calibr calibration report. Date of issue, October 8, 2019. Device under test, 12, 8, 14, whatever that is. Date, device serial number, 190. I don't even know where the serial number will be. Um, I don't know how they would even mark it. Unless it's inside there somewhere. Or it could be in the... Uh, controls because you can plug this in and calibrate it through a I believe it's a micro USB oh no it's something else <clears throat> some other type of plug that you can plug it in and you can calibrate it and do whatever else with it but anyway it's a whole sheet it says condition of calibration 22 to 23 degrees Celsius Right hand 55%, I don't know what that means, or RH 55%, calibration equipment, torque measurement system plus or minus 0.5%, certified calibrated ITRI center for measurement of standards, inspector signature. Um, anyway, you can see <clears throat> this is the error here. Uh, at 250 foot pounds, it was a 0.4 so I'm assuming okay so it's a plus 4.4 so they put it at 250.5 they got 250.9 error of 0.4 which is 0.16% that's clockwise counterclockwise almost the same thing 151.2 they got 150.9 which is negative 0.3 which is negative 0.12% and then those are just the notes of DUT reading applied torque DUT's device under test I guess those are the legends of what all this means so anyway uh, yeah and that the instruction book tells you how to adjust stuff and set stuff to memory so if you want if you're uh, doing a lot of engine buildings or whatever you're doing and you're always so like lug nuts I can set a setting for these these are set to 110 foot-pounds for the Audi and I think the Acura is 95 foot-pounds so I can do just go to the memory instead of holding the button up up forever um, because when you when you do this <clears throat> so if I gotta go to 110 foot pounds, you gotta hold it forever. I mean, not forever, but a long time. 
So, whereas I can just go to memory one. So, it's kind of loud. So, I can go to 110. And it's done. And then if you're all, okay, I want to go to 12.5 foot-pounds. Or whatever it is, you can do memory and then go back to it. Um, but other than that... <clears throat> I don't know. My brother's got a snap-on one, and uh, I can't afford snap-on, so I bought I the kid bought this for me. So gotta thank the kid. So this video goes out to my kid for my sponsorship of Buy Me Tools. Um, it is kind of loud. It is kind of loud when you uh, put some torque on it. Um, let me see if I can't, let me see if I can't set you somewhere and, and do it real quick. So, we got this here, and we're going to go. So, you know, obviously, red, you're dead, green, you're good, I guess. So... Uh, anyway, not sure how I'm going to like this. Uh, I don't know the mechanical feel. I've been dealing with uh, torque wrenches for a very long time. Uh, basically, you know, you got the click. So it'll click and you know you're torqued. Whereas, I don't know how I had these. I'm lost now. Um... You know how you get how you're just used to stuff, and uh, that's what you're used to. And uh, yeah, I'll play with it. We'll see how it works. Um, but yeah, so far, I like it. I like it because it's light. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll test it out on some stuff. So this isn't really a uh, tool review. It's just a uh, thank you to my kid and also tools um I did talk to the kid he said it uh it was 50 percent off there was a code for 50 percent off and uh yeah so that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for watching go check out also tools also tools.com check out their torque wrench i think they have a quarter inch three eighths and half inch um I have a 3 8 one if I need it, but this goes from 12.5 foot-pounds to 250, so basically anything I'm going to be torquing, um, unless it's tiny bolts, um, I'll be using that. So 12.5 foot-pounds is no big deal. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, subscribe. Maybe I'll do some video of this truck that you guys aren't allowed to see yet because there's videos in the future. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.